Welcome back, y'all. It's Ready, Set, and yo, over here. As I was saying, I am Ready, Set. I'm a caster for the Brawl Stars World Finals. I make Brawl Stars content on Twitch, and I'm also a computer science student at the University of Texas at Austin. Today, I get to add yet another title to my name. I'm officially a brand ambassador for Alienware. Oh, but Ready, doesn't that seem like too many responsibilities? Yeah, I, uh, I think they got me covered. <laughs> no cap, this is what they sent me. It is a giant Alienware care package. But they even wrote Longhorns on it, look. You know, I will confess, oh, that's an angle of my streaming setup you never see. <laughs> I will confess, I did have a little peek inside, right? I mean, I promise I didn't go anywhere past the stuffing. Yeah, and I'm like not kidding when I say stuffing, like they got UT colors. Like it's very personalized. I, I gotta hand it to you, Alienware. Okay, but obviously it's, it's not really the stuffing paper that I'm most excited about. It's the stuff that's really inside this box. I mean, they sent me essentially a brand new streaming setup and you know, a bunch of other Alienware goodies. So you know what I think we'll do is we'll just like take the items out one by one and then lay them all out. And then afterwards, we'll just like take an individual look at all the items. All right, so what can we have here? Last piece of uh, stuffing paper, I think, or packaging. Yo, that is so much stuff. A lav mic, a new mic, uh, well, okay, I'm gonna have to figure out what this thing is, but yo! And of course, there's our first little glimpse of Alienware right there. It's the Alienware keyboard. They sent me three Alienware things. They sent me a keyboard, they sent me a new laptop, and they sent me an Alienware mouse, so that's like super awesome. We got this mic. What else? Whatever that thing is, looks, I guess, explosive. <laughs> okay, a ring light, very nice, very nice. I have no idea what that is, but we'll figure out what it is. Of course, the Alienware keyboard. Let's see. It's RGB. It's a PC gamer's dream, y'all. Of course, y'all know I'm, I'm a little bit more of a mobile gamer, right? Just play Brawl Stars, but that's prone to change. All right, what else we got? I lied. This is not the last bit of stuffing paper. A pop filter? Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm gonna look like an actual pro streamer now. Stream webcam. That looks very nice. It looks a lot different than the current one that I have. What's up, dude? Then, of course, we have... The Alienware mouse, ooh, yo, I love that. I mean, right off the bat, I can tell you I'm gonna love this thing because I love when they have like the little fin on there that I can rest my thumb on. And it has the side buttons too, oh my God. Okay, now the moment you've all been waiting for, this right here, you cannot see the actual laptop yet, but we're gonna get it out of this brown packaging and we're really gonna take a look at the box. And I mean, let, let's get this thing out of the way and I'll get this all organized so you can really take a good look at it. All right, now there's everything. I mean, except for one crucial missing piece, but we're gonna unbox that separately. Take a look at all this loot. This is not This is not just a care package. This is an entirely new streaming setup. Gonna be honest, still don't know what these three things are, but we will find out once we unbox it all. But first thing I wanna do is get this Alienware laptop out of the brown cardboard paper. Right, I mean, I get to rip this, right? This is not the actual like packaging of the laptop. I mean, I guess that's one way to do it. Ooh, you can see the A. Almost perfect, almost perfect. Look how amazing that is. Yo! Look, if you get close, you can even see the little glistening patterns. Oh my gosh, it actually looks better through the camera. That is so cool. Well, now I see why they have the additional paper on the outside of it. I mean, it's to protect this white packaging inside. Get ready, you put you with the rest of the trash. <laughs> And here is the full ensemble. Let's get like all in one shot. This is insane. I, I really want to open this first, but I think we got to get into this stuff before we move on to the big boy. I mean, I say we start with like the little things, right? Let's check out the lav mic first of all. Let's see if I can open it one-handed. There we go. Look at that. Ooh, it comes in a little carrying case. There we go. So I can clip that onto myself so that I can record more easily when I'm moving around and things. Well, yeah, that is just brilliant. We're gonna move this over here with the rest of the loot. <laughs> this is what's gonna happen with all the trash. Right, next up we got, let's go for the webcam actually. All right, let's check out this new webcam. I mean, I got my current one, right? But this one is looking a lot fancier. Look at that. Oh, wow, it comes with a light on it to illuminate your face. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> and a little microfiber cloth just to clean it off. Well, let's go. Cannot wait to use this. Next up, we got the ring light. This is what the Instagrammers use when they're taking their selfies, right? Or like TikTok people. Wait, it already turned on? Oh shoot. Okay, this is without the ring light. With the ring light. No, with. I think that, I think that does a pretty good job. Put some good shadows on my face, right? But 
I think that worked. Right next to the pop filter, this is gonna be the accessory for the new microphone I got. And there we go. Let's get you out of there. Take a look at that. Ooh, that's very nice. So I guess you'd put your microphone in here and then, oh, there we go. I might have to hold this in front of my face to improve the iPhone filming quality. I mean, look at me, I'm filming with the iPhone right now. I mean, let's be fair, it's really useful. I get to play Brawl Stars on it. I get to film videos with it. Right, next up, we got this mystery thing. No clue what it is, but it looks like it's gonna open pretty easily. There we go. Capture, oh my gosh, it's a capture card. Oh, let's go. Okay, well, yeah, that's just brilliant. This outputs USB 3.0, my old one. It only outputs USB 2.0. I'm, I'm looking over here because literally, I have it taped to the wall over here. This this setup is pretty jank. I mean, it's it's gotta go. Well, let's put you over there. Let's see, what else do we got? Oh, okay, here's the USB 3.0 cable. Well, very nice, a new capture card. Right, well, next mystery item is this thing. I mean, I got no clue what's in here. Well, let's see. Oh, shoot. It's a big ring light. Well, very nice. It's a new ring light. There's a small one, there's a big one. And then there's an even smaller one on the webcam. We can have like concentric ring lights. This is a very advanced streaming setup that I don't know if I'm prepared for. Okay, oh, and this looks like, oh cool. It's a tripod, oh, let's go. All right, next up, last mystery item. I have no idea what this thing does. It looks pretty cool. Okay, well, you know, <laughs> that gives me a few hints. Some sort of thing that I can use to hold my phone. Now, this one's gonna require advanced tools to open, AKA my fingernails. Right, well, let's check it out. I mean, this could be the end of my shaky handheld iPhone camera movements. Would you look at that? All right, so it turns out this thing has a lot of setup to do. So I'm actually gonna do that off camera and then we're gonna see the difference like before and after using this thing. So, so long shaky hand cam. All right guys, I'm not gonna lie. This is probably one of the coolest things I've ever owned. Like, look at this, this is insane. It'll focus on my face. It does all sorts of things. Oh my God, I cannot wait to use this to make videos. This is ridiculous. All right, and that's not even all. Next up we got this bad boy. It's a new microphone. All right, here we go. All right, let's see what we got. <laughs> that just like launched out of there. <laughs> I gotta confess, guys, I am getting used to using this, like, little phone holder thing. There's definitely a learning curve to this thing. Oh my gosh, this thing is heavy. And there you have it, the new microphone. It's upside down, but not for long. There we go. <laughs> there we go, and I'm gonna be able to combine that with the pop filter that I got as well, so that is just excellent. Let's go! This thing's fancy. Perfect. Guys, I'm telling you, it's like Christmas morning. We have just gotten to the final three items and you know, I'm not gonna lie, these are the big three that I've really like been looking forward to. So let's go. It has been so much fun using this thing. Like look, look how it just like, it's absolutely insane how this thing works. But yeah, I think I might be having a little too much fun with it right now. We're gonna unbox the big ones at my streaming setup, so let's go. All right, finally, we're back at the streaming setup and we get to get into the main event, the three Alienware products that Alienware was so generous to send me as part of being, you know, a brand ambassador and stuff. I mean, right off the bat, I already said it, this thing looks amazing. It's the Alienware 510M, this mouse, I mean, just check out the back of it. You got those buttons, I love the programmable buttons, and also, you know, you have these fins off to the side that you can rest your thumb on. With my current mouse, that's something that's really important to me about it, is the fact that I can rest my thumb and it's not gonna drag against my mouse pad. But yeah, like, let's get this thing open. Oh my gosh, and they were so kind to do the thing that no one else did. They have like a little pull tab to open the tape. No other product that I opened had that. Look at that. I mean, going off that alone, I have very high expectations. Oh shoot, it opens like this. Check this out, look. <laughs> It presents, it's like, it's like a whole dramatic reveal. Check that out. All right, well, now that I've stared at this for like a minute without saying anything, I think we just got to take it out of the box. Check this out. There we go. It's got like a little envelope behind it. Oh, cool, okay. It's got the Alienware logo, look at that. On the box, it said to peel this off slowly. Here we go, the satisfying moment. 
There we go. <laughs> Get rid of that. That is fantastic. It's actually very comfortable in my hand. Another thing I want to point out, just like by observing this, is that this is something you can use as a lefty, right? It's symmetrical, perfectly symmetrical. I mean, you know, the buttons are going to be over on this side for you, but you can use this left-handed. That's very, that's very helpful. Well, let's put that aside and let's take a look in the envelope, actually. All right, a little Alienware socials card for y'all to go check out if the camera ever focuses. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta say guys, I'm already looking forward to the new camera because y'all cannot see that at all. It's getting completely washed out. Rebel, very cool. And look, on the side buttons, one of the buttons, it's actually not a button, it's a little like rubber area where you can rest your thumb. So it's like a little thing that you can mess with, right? Where you don't have to be messing with the programmable buttons. All right, well, I'm gonna have to test this out later, but if you wanna check this out, you can see the links to the products in the description. I have them all linked, not just the mouse, also the keyboard and the laptop once we get to those. Yeah, and I also have a little promo code that you can use. So uh, I don't know if you wanted to like do that or something, that'd be pretty cool. Again, all that info is down in the description. All right, well, one product down, two to go. Next up, we got a brand new Alienware keyboard. It appears to be 510K. And <laughs> you can already see, they very prominently feature the cherry red switch. It's like, it's like the top shelf of key switches. Alien effects, per key RGB backlighting. So you can like choose certain keys. Slim profile with cherry MX low profile red switches. Right, well, I mean, the only logical thing to do now is open it. <laughs> Check that out. They got 510K prominently featured right there. Take a good look because this is the last time you're gonna see this package before I chuck it behind me. The big reveal. Oh. Look at that. Here we got the keyboard, as usual. In the back, in that little recession, they got the Alienware little packet with the logo. All right, well, let's put that to the side. Now let's take out the keyboard. Check that out. Wait, why does it have, why does it have two USB ports? I guess one's like for the RGB backlighting and the other one's for the actual keyboard. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Well, look at that. I mean, they weren't kidding about this, the slim profile. I'm gonna have to prop up these little legs for it to sit here. I'm gonna type some stuff on this. You have no idea what I'm typing. I mean, first impressions, this thing is pretty comfortable to type on, but we're gonna have to see what it looks like when it's all lit up with the RGB. I'm gonna plug it into the Alienware laptop once we unbox that, which I guess means it's time for us to move on <laughs> to the big event, the Alienware laptop. Can I just add like, this is a massive package. This thing is pretty hefty. This had to be like the heaviest thing in the entire box. I, I bet it's like heavier than everything else in the box combined. You know what, for this one, I really think we gotta take this and just lay it out on my bed so y'all can get the full experience of opening this thing just like me. All right, well, here goes nothing. Let's open her up. Look at that. Got the Alienware logo. Let's go, it's the 15. Right, so this is the Alienware M15. And take a look at this thing. Very, very sleek, I gotta say. And there's your little Alienware logo. I know this thing's gonna glow up once I plug this thing in. Well, look at that. I mean, like right off the bat, I gotta say, this is a very sleek design. So let's check it out. Oh, okay. Looks like it has all these sorts of ports in the back, actually. This one's for charging. Here we got our HDMI port. That's very nice, actually, because the previous computer I had, the HDMI port was on the side, and that was just like very inconvenient. Hold up, okay, wait. This one has a plug. This one also has a plug. So it can charge, I guess. I guess it can charge with both USB-C and this little plug over here. Very, very cool. Of course, something Alienware is very big on is these hexagonal vents in the back. They look very awesome. But let's pick this thing up. I mean, look at the side. I love how it's like angled like that. Check it out. Okay, so we got some ports over here, right? Your little vent on the side. Look at the front. I mean, you know, this is what you're gonna be looking at most of the time. I'm gonna confess, guys, I actually really, really like the color scheme they got going on here. Check it out, they got the hexagonal little vent at the bottom, like I said. Let's take a look at the other side. You got your side vent. Of course, you got Ethernet, USB, your little headphone port. This thing is super awesome. Actually, if you hold it like this, <laughs> it kind of looks like a journal. And well, we got a little card here, a little Alienware card. Yeah, when I'm editing this, I'll probably add in some like epic voiceover or something right now. 1996, we set out to build the most innovative and high performance computer. Well, that's nice of them. They detailed everything I just said, except uh, not rambly. Very nice Alienware. <laughs> of course, back here, we got the massive brick, the charger, and it looks like that's everything that's in the box. Very cool. In all honesty, guys, I'm really struggling to keep my composure right now because 
This is a new PC, but I also gotta make this video. This is like so crazy. Like Alienware, they just sent me this new laptop. This is ridiculous. Look, they got the hexagons down there, of course. Okay, it actually looks like I peel it off up here. Look at that. Whoosh, now we're finished. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Alienware M15. Look at that. I mean, last thing to do really is power it on. Yeah, turned out the second last thing to do was plug it in. All right, turns out I actually needed to plug the thing in before I could turn it on, but I did get my keyboard and mouse set up, and this thing is looking pretty great. Another thing that I gotta say is very, very smart to have these little indents on the sides. All right, well, this is what I'm sure you've been waiting for. Let's see what happens when we turn it on. Oh, look, everything coming on at once. Yo, let's go. Well, there we go. It looks like the colors are getting synced up for everything. Yeah, this one's like pulsating really fast. Look at that. That is a very, very nice screen. I can just get rid of Cortana, please. Oh my God, thank you. Also, guys, what on earth? Guys, I'm honestly at a loss for words right now. Look what happens when I make circles with my mouse. Guys, I've been used to a 60 hertz display for so long. This is so amazing. All right, well, clearly I have some setting up to do, so I'm gonna get that done and I'm gonna update y'all on the Alienware setup in a later video. But before we close things out, I wanna get a final look at all of the stuff that Alienware sent me today. Well guys, that is gonna do it for today's video, but don't go away yet. I actually have a coupon code that you can use that Alienware has given me for being a brand ambassador. So if you're interested in any of the Alienware products I unboxed today, check down in the description. I got the links to all of them. Make sure to use my coupon code. Isn't that funny how I got an Alienware code before a Supercell code? Hmm. Regardless, I want to thank Alienware for letting me be a brand ambassador. I cannot wait to see what else the future holds being a brand ambassador for Alienware. I mean, it's a fantastic brand. I seriously cannot wait. Anyway, with that, this has been Ready Set. Remember to play smart, and especially don't be toxic, guys. I'll see y'all later. In 1996, we set out to build the most innovative and high-performance computers for ourselves and our fellow gamers.